Hi Libra, this is your reading with me for December 2020, love. So we're going to look into you, them and the outcome. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. I'm also going to get some messages out as well, which is going to be very exciting, as well as tarot. And um, yeah, we're going to see what's coming through. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is intention bracelets and items. Those are all on Etsy, they're meditated with and sage, there to move obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life, so definitely do check all of that out, it's really exciting. Um, <laughs> and also there's um, free gift with purchase, um, if you want to see how people send results with all of these items, check out the review section on my Etsy store as well, um, you know, so there's bracelets, crystals, necklaces, face masks, um, teas, so many items. So do check those out if you're interested. I'm actually wearing some of the bracelets as well. So yeah, those are the love, love bracelets. So let's see Libra. Cartier has nothing on my beaded love bracelets. <laughs> oh. Okay, so on your side, you got the Three of Wands with the Star card. A powerful release is happening here. Okay, release of emotions, release of build up, built up anger, release of regrets, release of shame, release in terms also of healing, being patient with yourself, taking care of yourself. Some of you, you might be waiting, but I feel like you're just releasing that and you're just like you know what I can't keep doing this for myself I wish the other person would do this for me and that's the energy that I see here is it's almost like you're thinking to yourself why is no one else doing this for me why am I the one always sacrificing my energy and my time for others no one's doing this for me hello why are you not doing this to me uh, sorry for me it's just bizarre and it's weird why 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 you got the Hermit with the High Priestess as well. And there you go. See, um, the Hermit here shows that you're thinking, wondering, pondering. You're in your own energy quite a bit, thinking about things, as we can see here. High Priestess is Pisces energy. This is your gut and your intuition telling you things. Um, so pay attention to that. You also had the... Um, I mean, it was a huge solar eclipse combined with the new moon. And this energy is very powerful because it can bring past regrets to the surface, which can continue through December, the rest of December. Um, you can also feel a lot of shame and guilt for how you've been treated or, you know, if you were like sort of like a doormat. Um, not saying that you are, but you could have just felt really guilty for letting someone walk all over you or being there for someone and they just took advantage or took you for granted, etc. And I just think that you're thinking a lot about this, but you're also thinking about how you can move forward rather than letting this weigh you down for the rest of your life because you want to make the rest of your life the best of your life. You don't want it to weigh you down. So this is more so about coming across those red flags and thinking, why am I sacrificing myself? you know, so that's really interesting, you're doing a lot of thinking, but you're also doing a lot of releasing, and you're doing a lot of healing with these two cards here as well. Now, on their side, let's see what's happening, because I want to know, and so do you. So, you've got here the chariot, you've got here the four of swords, you've got here the two of wands, and also the king of swords as well. So, it's very obvious here that they're thinking about you, okay? Um, very, very obvious here with this king of swords. Um, actually, they're thinking about the fact that you have power. They feel like you have power. They, they think you have the upper hand. Uh, wow, okay, um, <laughs> that's nice. I'll say that that's nice. Why do I say that that's nice? Because it means you haven't lost power. If you feel like you've lost power, like you're on the bottom, you're on the bottom of the whatever, the ocean or whatever, you're not, um, you are floating, you're not sinking, you are swimming. And it goes to show here that they really do feel that you've you've got power. In fact, they feel like they've lost their power and that they I'm just feeling a little bit down here as well. I mean, the Two of Wands really goes to show that they are 
sort of doing their own thing. This is also about balance as well, looking out into the world. The Four of Swords here shows really, I mean, they're trying to get themselves together, they're trying to get their life together. Four of Swords is also about rest and peace, rejuvenation. The Chariot here shows that they are very tempted to come towards you. They're very tempted to come towards you. The Chariot here really shows that they do want to come towards you, but also that they're sort of resting and doing their own thing as well. And so that's also something to really very much so keep in mind. Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Strength, so this is for the outcome. Okay, so Four of Pentacles does show them keeping to themselves, right? I did mention that they will contemplate coming towards you. And uh, you're definitely on their mind in uh, December. I think that this whole solar eclipse and new moon, it doesn't just affect you, okay? It doesn't just affect you, it affects them as well. So they're learning lessons. They're understanding how they should be much more... Oops, so many cards just came out. I'm going to take that top card that just came out, which is the sun. There you go, solar eclipse, right? Because you've literally got that energy right there. And you've also got the moon here with the um, High Priestess card. Also got the chariot, which is known to be a moon child. So we got the sun and the moon um, very, very strongly. Also Leo also has um, re resemblance to the moon, uh, sorry, the sun as well. So you've got two moons and two sun energies here, which goes to show that it's, it's quite significant. It's interesting that I'm also using this tarot deck as well, because when you have a solar eclipse with the new moon, Okay, first of all, when you have a solar eclipse, you've lost solar power. Solar energy, which is of course the sun's energy, feeds life, feeds energy into life. When you've got that with the new moon energy, what happens is the moon has way too much power. And so what then happens is that there's less energy for the sun to feed into things, but the moon is triggering emotional flashbacks, it's triggering shame, it's triggering these really difficult emotions, and the sun is not feeding you that positivity that you need, right? So what's happening also on their side is that they have felt this, right? And that strength card shows that things sort of get pushed, pulled back, only to push forward even more. So I just want you to know that things will be okay. That's that's basically what I'm trying to say is that, you know, it's, it's, it's temporary. You haven't got the solar eclipse with the new moon every single day. Otherwise, my God, or, you know, it doesn't happen for a long period of time. That would be devastating. People think Mercury retrogrades are bad. This is this is not great, okay? But it's 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 done. <laughs> it's over with. Some of you may have just felt it. Some of you may feel it's still over December. It will pass, okay? It will pass. Um, and the Four of Pentacles again shows them sort of keeping to themselves. Page of Wands as well shows them thinking about you. But they've definitely learned quite a bit with this whole um, eclipse and new moon energy as well. It it pushes things to get stronger. It shows them to think more about you and it also shows them to be more reasonable towards you as well and not so stuck up in their sort of ego as well and to sort of like crack the ego as well. So yes, well basically you have power and they have recognised that. They've realised that. Hold on to your power. Take care of yourself and try and heal yourself as well from some of this guilt and shame or regret that you may feel. All right, um, so let's see what messages we have as well. I just need to get those out. You know, there's an energy of rest that I see here and it says here, past loved ones around you. It could be that maybe someone in their family has passed away. That also triggers them to realize just how unreasonable they maybe were with you as well. Because sometimes it can take a big event for people to realize and recognize their mistakes. The other thing I also see is that you have your ancestors and also people that have maybe passed away in your family around you to help you, guide you and support you. All right, the other energy or sorry message we have is connect with spirit guides. So that would make a lot of sense too. Too. Um, oftentimes those that have passed on from your side um, can be there to protect you in the form of being a spirit guide. Also ancestors as well can also very much so be in that sort of bubble and space and uh, it says here you know you can pray to your spirit guides. Being more spiritual can also help um, in many ways, meditating etc, connecting to your chakras. 
And then it says here, time to heal. And what did I mention from the very beginning? That you are releasing, you are healing, you're taking care of yourself. That's helping you to uplift your energy to become such a stronger version of yourself, which is just beautiful. And that I think is just extremely necessary at the same time. And that's what you're doing. That's how you're taking care of yourself. That's where you're putting yourself. It's important. So um, yes, this is your reading. All right, so if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do take care and stay safe as well, everyone. All right, everything's always in the description box below for your convenience. Bye.